supposed to get dog day afternoon from <laughs> I sure wish we were betting money on this game. <laughs> okay, wise guys. Let's see how great you do on this one. Right. Okay, sit back and watch the experts at work. Start the clock. All right. Shake spear, okay? Question. What light through yonder window breaks? <laughs> You ain't messing with kids, Papa. <laughs> okay, it's our turn. Okie dokie. Oh, this is murder. Okay, now. Here we go, Metalark. Go. A movie. Uh, two words. Uh, first word. Uh, kiss. <laughs> Uh, 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 kiss of death. Uh, 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 uh kiss and bang. Bang. Uh, uh, kiss your eyes again. Uh, 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 uh fish. Uh, jaws. Two words. Jaws, two. Uh, pucker lips. Oh, I got it. Uh, pucker lips down. Oh. Time out. Let's get a drink. Hey, Ruthie. Oh, oh, hi, Tommy. Ruthie, can I see you a minute? You better get out here. Why? What's wrong? Okay, we're going to destroy you, girls. Oh. Bad chance, hummingbird. <laughs> <laughs> By the time we are through, we are going to turn a basketball player into a jockey. <laughs> yes, it's my last dance. My last chance. Hi, Ruthie. Don't let her breathe on you. She'll munch your braces. <laughs> Diane Marion Alder, are you drunk? Don't talk dumb with him, fine. <laughs> Hi, Tommy. You know, you're a wonderful, warm, loving kid, and I like you. She's drunk. <laughs> Dad sees her, he'll kill her. Come on, Tommy, we gotta get her to bed. Hey, you guys, I'm fine. Hey, hurry up before she and me get emotionally involved. <laughs> okay, we'll sneak in while Dad's not looking, then we'll hide Diane in between us, and then we'll tiptoe quietly to our bedroom. You got it? Yeah, and then we'll steal a Maltese Falcon and go to catch a blanket. <laughs> shh, shh. <laughs> Shh. 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 Okay, we are going to get you ladies this time. Oh. His name is not Hummingbird. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, here we go, pal. TV. Uh, uh, a little box. Uh, I got it. Little TV box, right? <laughs> Horsey! Oh, hi, Diane. I'm glad you're home early, honey. Uh, uh, horse. Uh, horse. Uh, I got it. Little horse on the prairie. Why was that close? I think you to say hello to Leona. And Morgan and Miller. Diane, you sit down on this bed. Tommy, box the door, okay? 
Okay, to pass me, she'll have to kill my tender young body. <laughs> you think it's funny, Tommy Rosini? This is my sister and she's drunk and I just hate it. Now help me get her boots off and then get out of here. Hey, don't get excited. I know how to handle these drunks, you know. I got four of them in my family. <laughs> hey, uh, want me to help you get her undressed? No. Thank you, Tommy. Hey, don't thank me. You'll get my bill in the morning. <laughs> Come on, Dan, sit up, okay? What'd you drink anyway? Or was it drink? Have you been smoking pot or something? I never polluted my body, little sister. All I had was some beers. Three beers. Three little beers. There is mama beer. And papa beer. And little baby beer. Cut it out, Diane. I'm scared to see you drunk like this. I'm not drunk. You can't get drunk on beer. But you sure got drunk on something. Diane, I've got to tell Dad. Okay, tell him. <laughs> I can't. Diane, I don't know how to handle this. I mean, I used to have an older sister I could talk to, but she just became a wino. <laughs> Bureau. <laughs> Diane, please, you're my sister, and I love you, and I, I can't stand to see you looking like this. Oh, well, I'm okay, Ruthie, honest. No, you're not. Your eyes are all weird, and you look so out of it. Oh, Diane. Oh, don't do a worry, Ruthie. I'm not drunk. Yes, you are. I am not. Then how long? It goes for both of you. <laughs> I am. Lie down. You know, you're drunk worse than you think. You stay here, and I'll go get you some nice cold cloths for your head. I'm hungry. Sundance kid. Butch cavity? No, no, look, look, look. Mouth? <laughs> Bridge work. Crying? Bridge on the river, quiet. Oh, oh, oh. Diane, never do that. You're not in the game. They never would have got it. Okay. Honey, while you're out there, uh, get us something to eat, will you? Bring it over. Coming up. All right. Get another chance. Another chance. Yes. Come on. Try this one. Okay, Leona. Okay. Okay. Go, Leona. Right. Give me time to read it first. <laughs> okay. All right, what is it? A song. Right. Good. March, march. Tramp, tramp, tramp. The boys are march. March, march, march. The boys are march. What are you talking about? Are you going to the match? No! What are you... Will you keep it down over there? What are you... It's a line from a song. Okay. How many words? Five little words. You go to your room, I'll clean up. I'll get a rag. All right, what's what's the score here? Well, I can't count that. My God, is the second time this is happening. Diane, would you keep it down, honey? We're trying to play a game out here. You got it, Pops. Pops? Diane? Uh, she's under the sink right now, Dad. Why don't you just go on back to your game? Diane, are you all right, honey? Your voice sounded funny. Oh, she's fine, Dad. Yeah, Diane, you look flushed. It's hot under the sink. Your eyes look red. Well, there's ammonia under the sink, too. Ruthie, one more interruption and you'll be under the sink. Hey, Diane, look at me. Oh, I'm okay, Dad. Oh, excuse me, guys. Ruthie, you stay here and clean up the mess. Now, Diane, you listen to me. You either have a terrible virus or you've been drinking. And for your sake, it better be a terrible virus. Three bears, Dad. Three little bears. And one little one. Why? Why what? Why did you have three beers and a little wine? 
Stan, I'm talking to you. Where were you tonight? At Lane's house, Dad. A couple of guys came over and brought some beers, that's all. And you had to drink it? Boy, Dad, everybody else was. Oh, you know something. The next time I hear everybody else was, I am going to... Look, I don't want you to see this Elaine anymore, and I don't ever want to see you looking like this again. I can handle it, Dad. I never have more than three beers. <laughs> you never? You mean you've done this before? Let's go play some trades, Dad. Wait a minute. When have you done this before? How many times? Dad, I'm 16. Oh, that's different. Well, then, why don't we just get rid of the dresser and put a bar in here? <laughs> Dad, you have a beer once in a while. Look, young lady, when you're 44 years old and have two kids, you can have your three beers. But right now, you don't drink. It's not fair. Okay, take me to court and have me declared an unfair father. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> oh, I've got all the information right here. I stayed up all night getting this stuff. Now, teenage drinking is a big problem. Oh, Larry, I, I'm as concerned about Diane as you are, but honestly, a controlled drinking experiment is dull radio. Not the way I'm going to do it. And I'm going to have a young, attractive woman drinking with me. Who? You. <laughs> you and I are going to drink on the air? That's dull radio. Well, who cares? We'll be too drunk to notice. Oh, come on, Larry. Look, Morgan, fix it. I want to do this today. Morning, Dad. Hi, Morgan. Hi, Diane. Are you feeling better? Oh, she's fine. You know, she doesn't even have a headache. So I guess she wasn't as smashed as everybody thought she was. Huh, Dad? She was smashed, Ruthie. She fell asleep while I was talking to her. <laughs> Gee, Dad, you don't have to be drunk to do that. <laughs> Knock it off, okay? I'll fix breakfast. Diane, I'd like to talk to you. Dad, if it's about last night, let's forget about it, okay? Damn it! Do you have any idea what it is you look like? Some bum from Skid Row. Well, no, she didn't, Dad. She wasn't drinking out of a paper bag. Ruthie, would you like to be grounded for a month, too? No. Then stay out of this. Now, look, Diane, beer and wine and all the rest of it aren't for young kids. I mean, you're not ready to handle it yet. You can get all kinds... Suddenly sound like my old man. I was 16, he gave me this same lecture right after I polished off a whole bottle of Muscatel. <laughs> Just I had the decency to get sick. Get sick, Diane. <laughs> if it'll make Dad happy, I'll try. <laughs> Honey, I'm not getting through to you, am I? No, but you're getting through to me, Larry. Okay, we'll do the show. Hey, that's great. All right, now listen, I want you girls at the station this afternoon. Why, Dad? Because I'm doing a show about drinking. Maybe you'll learn something. Well, gee, Dad, Diane already knows how to drink. Yeah. Hi, this is Larry Alder, and welcome to the show. Today we're going to devote our entire program to problem drinking. You know, I've been told that if you uh, put a worm in a glass of water, he'll swim around and be happy. And if you put a worm in a glass of alcohol, he'll shrivel up and die. Which only proves that if you drink, you'll never get worms. <laughs> which is only one of a million bad jokes about drinking. But drinking is really no joke. Today in our studio, we have a real good friend of mine, a pal, Dr. James Cornell. Uh, Jim, would you tell the people what we're going to do, please? Thank you, Larry. Today we're doing a controlled drinking experiment. Wow, Dad's gonna get drunk right on the air. Just because I had three little beers? That's how it begins, Diane. Look at me. I started out with three little sandwiches. <laughs> Larry and Miss Winslow are now having their first drink. We're using a man and a woman to see if alcohol has the same effect on the male and female bloodstream. Uh, Miss Winslow is the female. I'll uh, 
uh, do the jokes, Jim. <laughs> now, you had one measured ounce of scotch. Will you read that, please? I still have a sliver of silver in my liver from the Civil War. Very good. Miss Winslow? Yes. I still have a sliver of silver in my liver from the Civil War. You show me your sliver, I'll show you mine. I'm sorry, Jim. All right. Second drink, please. Uh, Jim, why don't you tell the people the, uh, you know, the basic differences between wine, beer, bourbon, whiskey, you uh, know, all the others. <laughs> all right, Larry. Now, well, beer and wine have less alcohol than the others. Uh, however. Okie dokie. We're back on the air and, uh, we are still drinking. But, uh, as they say, you're never drunk as long as you can lie on the floor without holding on. Right. Uh, would you care to join us, Jimbo? Oh, no, thank you. Somebody has to stay sober. Okay, no. Now, for those of you folk who just tuned in, we're doing a little experiment here on how different people react to booze. Now, uh, different people react to peas differently. <laughs> That's right, Larry. Would you like to read this again? Well, it'd be my pleasure. Anything the doctor orders. <laughs> I still have a sliver of silver in my liver from the Civil War. How do you like them apples? <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Morgan, take a card. Uh, I still have a silver of silver. Whoops. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I still have a sliver of sliver in my liver from the Silver War. <laughs> Didn't think I could do it, did you, Doc? Boy, she bombed. <laughs> well, not totally, but the effects of the alcohol are becoming obvious. Her reflexes are becoming affected. <gasps> You're cute. <laughs> Larry. Uh -huh. You think he's got a thing going with his nurse? Who cares? You know, I don't, I don't, I don't understand something. We, we are doing all the drinking, and you're the only one who looks drunk. How do you? Uh... Well, when you drink, your impressions change. They're different. Your depth perception is altered. Boy, Dad looks awful. Yeah, well, Morgan looks worse. I didn't look that bad. Yes, you did. You looked like something that the cat dragged in. Speaking of cats, there's either two of them in there fighting, or Morgan is singing. Strangers in the night. Something we were strangers. Morgan, you sing terrible. It's not her fault, though, Doc. She's got a sliver in her liver. I'll drink to that. Hey, listen. Give everybody in the drink a house, would you? I'll uh, drink to that. How are you feeling, Miss Winslow? You! I say, do you think you could drive a car? <laughs> well, where do you want to go, Charlie? <laughs> well, that's what happens, folks. A party, a few drinks, a car, another statistic. Right. Drunking and driving don't mix. Morgan, you're dangerous. I'm dangerous! For Pete's sake, will you shh? <laughs> now, continue, Docker. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to test their uh, mental and physical capabilities. Hot deedy dog, we're going to test our mental and our physical capabilities. <laughs> How are you going to do that, Docker? Well, I'm giving Larry a horn, and we're giving Miss Winslow a symbol. We're getting a horn, she's getting a symbol. Now, this is to test coordination. <laughs> When I call an odd number, odd number, you blow the horn. I blow the horn. When I call an even number, you hit the symbol. She hits it. Got that? Yeah. Okay, here we go. 57. <laughs> 75. <laughs> 91. <laughs> Wait a minute, that was an odd number. I got tired of waiting. <laughs> All right, now we'll pick up the pace. Yeah, right. yeah. 41, 45, 102. <laughs> 33. <laughs> okay. 
Come on. I think, I think we've proved our point. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we just had an impromptu parade around the studio. I think you can both relax, all right? Thank you. Boy, that lady knows how to relax. All right, we'll be back after this brief message from one of our sponsor's messages. Testing, one, two, three, testing. Dad, you want some coffee? Dad? Diane, where's Dad? I don't know. Oh, it's all my fault. I don't know what I'll do if anything's happened to him. I was hoping he drove right home, but his car isn't downstairs. Don't worry, girls. The doctor called the police. They'll find him. If he's driving that car, he could kill himself. He could go off the bridge and be in the river. Well, it's a little too late to be thinking of that, Diane. I mean, you just go out and have your three little beers, and you don't care if everybody worries about you. Oh, I'm sorry, Ruthie. Yeah, me too. Hey, guys. I heard the show. Drinking runs in the family, huh, Diane? <laughs> Tommy, will you get out of here? Dad's missing. Missing? Yeah, he drove his car at the station, and now we can't find him. Oh, your dad's all right. He took his car and he drove one block. Then he used his head and he decided to grab a cab. He got sick about nine times, then he went to bed. He's here? Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Not so loud. Glad to see you're okay, Larry. I'll go see how Morgan's doing. Talk softly, girls. His head is very sensitive to any noise. <laughs> oh, Dad, I was so scared. Yeah, me too, Dad, me too. Hey, 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 don't shake him. You know, his stomach doesn't feel too good either. So don't talk about your mayonnaise, your banana sandwiches, or peanut butter and tuna fish. Tommy. <laughs> Tommy, will you leave us alone? Oh, all right. Hey, uh, Mr. Walder, listen. If you should get sick again, don't stick your head out the window. I'll be walking my dog. <laughs> Dad, can I talk to you? Um, honey, let's let's talk tomorrow, okay? She'll talk soft, Dad. Yeah, Dad, I gotta say this. Okay, okay. Ruthie, would you just steer me to the coffee? <laughs> Dad, I thought it was fun drinking with the crowd. It wasn't. It was dumb. That's fine, honey. Fine. Yes, she was dumb, Dad, but she knows that now. I heard, Ruthie. Thank you. <laughs> Look, honey, I I'm not saying that you're never going to drink, okay? But let's just uh, put it aside for a while. You know, I mean, I could give you an armload of statistics why drinking is bad for you. But l l let's just go with your common sense, okay, sweetie? Please, don't do to you what I did to me today, okay? Oh, Daddy, I love you. If you really love me, would you see if you could find my eyeballs? <laughs> I guess you don't feel too good, huh, Dad? No, honey, I don't feel too good. I plan to be unconscious all day tomorrow. <laughs> right now, I just want to go to sleep. I will help you to bed. Thank you. <clears throat> Diane, would you get me an extra pillow? And Ruthie, would you hold the room steady so I can... <laughs> 